Today we will talk about equations with parallel lines and transversals. So first what I have here are two pairs of parallel lines. A and B are parallel and C and D are parallel. So before anything else, the first thing I will show you is to indicate which angles are supposed to be congruent. Let me start with angle 1. Okay. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles, therefore they're congruent. Then we have angle 3 with angle 12 are corresponding, that makes them congruent. And angle 3 with angle 9 are alternate interior angles. Keep going, we have 9 and 13 being corresponding. We have 12 with 16 corresponding. We have 3 with 5 being alternate interior angles. And 1 with 7 being alternate exterior angles. So in my diagram of 18 angles, 8 of them are congruent. So the other 8 are congruent for the same reason. 2 corresponds with 10. 10 and 11 are vertical. 2 and 4 are vertical. 4 and 6 are alternate interiors. 2 and 8 are alternate exteriors. 6 and 14 are corresponding. 14 and 15 are vertical. And real quick, these are supposed to be parallel lines. So we indicate parallel lines with these arrows. Okay. So reason I want to start off with this is this helps us figure out our special properties. And this is kind of a, like a cheat sheet, a shortcut if you will, to help us figure out what do we do when we are given two angles. Okay, so if you are given two angles, and if the two angles you pick are the same color, that means those two angles are congruent. If the two angles we have are different color, that means they are supplementary, or that they add up to 180 degrees. All right, reason I am giving this shortcut is because, for example, we know angle 1 and angle 8 are same side exterior angles which makes them supplementary but if I ask if we see a question something like angle 1 with angle 15 they're no longer one of our special angle pairs so this shortcut tells me to figure out that oh 1 is red 15 is blue they're different colors so they must be supplementary now the real reason they're supplementary is because 1 and 7 are alternate exterior angles, which makes them congruent, they're the same, and 7 and 15 are supplementary. So since 7 and 1 are the same, I can pick up 1 and put it down here. That would make it supplementary with 15. But again, I like the colors because it gives us a shortcut of figuring out these angles. Right, next thing I want to talk about is when we have these four lines and you're given two angles, what, ang what lines are supposed to be parallel, or which parallel lines are we talking about? For example, if I were to look at angle 16 and angle 10. 16 and 10 are alternate exterior angles. The question will be, which two, par which two lines are parallel Would six for 16 and 10 to be same side exterior angles? I mentioned the wrong thing, same side exterior angles. Okay, so notice 16 and 10, I'm looking at these two angles. 
That means 16 is on line B and line D. 10 is on line A and line D. Both of them are on line D. D is my transversal. And remember from our vocab, your transversal is the one line that cuts across the other parallel lines. So that makes this the two parallel lines we're referring to. So if we're saying 10 and 16 are same side exterior angles, that means we're talking about A and B as my parallel lines. So it's important to identify which parallel lines are we talking about when you have all these different numbers going on mixed in together. So now let's go to the equations part. Example 1. Let's say you're given an equation or expression such that measure of angle 1 equals 5x plus 8 and measure of angle 12 equals 2x plus 32 and the directions say solve for x. Just like when we were working with angles, we can be asked to find the equation, solve for x, and plug in x to find my answer. So in this case, all we're asking for is to solve for x. So let's take a look. Angle 2 is up here, and angle 12 is over here. Notice. Notice that 1 and 12, that's what we have over here, 1 and 12. 1 and 12 are altered interior angle, or I mean altered exterior angles. And also, if we're just looking at our color codes, they're both red. And down here says if they're the same color, they're congruent. Congruent means we can set them equal to each other. So my equation would be 5x plus 8 equals 2x plus 32. At this point, we're back to the algebra. We can put 5x plus 8 into y1, 2x plus 32 into y2, or I prefer to solve by hand. I first want to move my x to the left. I want to cancel my 2x. 2x goes away. 5 minus 2x is 3x. 8 drops down. We're left with 32, a positive 32. Next, I want to move my 8x over, I mean my 8, so I subtract 8 on both sides, get 3x equals, we have a plus 32 and a minus 8, that gives me a 24, and last step, divide both sides by 3, to get x equals 8. Alright, let's do another example. Example 2. What if they told us that the measure of angle 8 equals 13x plus 11 and the measure of angle 13 equals 2x plus 19 and again we are asked to solve for x. So here it is. Example 2. Measure of angle 8, measure of angle 13, we're asking to solve for x. So looking back at my diagram, 8 is over here, and 13 is over here. Now notice, 8 and 13 are not one of our seven special angle pairs. So if we just go by the 7, we don't know what 8 and 13 are. But looking at my colors, I see 8 is blue, 13 is red. Oh, they're different colors. They must be supplementary. And supplementary means I can add the two together and they should equal 180. So my equation would be 13x plus 11 plus the 2x plus 19 equals 180. Solving for this algebraically, here's my 13x, here's my 2. I can combine like terms to get 15x.
plus here's my 11 and here's my 19 combining them gets me 30 equals 180 I am solving for x I want to get rid of my 30 so subtract 30 on both sides get 15x equals 150 and dividing by 15 gets me x equals 10 so the key part with this unit is being able to identify if I give if we are given two angles are they congruent or are they supplementary and we can tell them from this diagram right here